Hey, what's up, guys? Wicked Android HD here, and today I'm gonna be showing you a ROM that I have fallen in love with. It's called Bliss Pop, and I will show you right now. Bliss Pop, it is an unofficial build for my Samsung Galaxy S4 i9 1505, but apart from that, everything seems to be working perfectly on the first view of this uh, beautiful 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 ROM why well, I'm saying beautiful you know these days ASP ROMs are configured to be as stock as possible um, to have all of them to have the same features and slightly perform performance differences bet between them but uh, this ROM gives you the ultimate experience for the personalization part that um, any ROM should uh, take into consideration and this, the first feature that I'm gonna be talking about is the Antutu benchmark of course so 29,360 points recorded in uh, Antutu Benchmark pretty impressive score if you ask me speaking of the standings as you may see it is right below the LG G3 which is pretty impressive so we're off with that um, the main thing of this ROM is that isn't that uh, is that uh, let me explain. It is full, fully optimized with all the features you'll get with uh, all the ASP ROMs out there, like uh, Resurrection Remix, uh, AICP, uh, optimized CM12 build, CM12.1 actually, but. This ROM offers you hell of a lot more personalization things. Like the first, the second feature that I'm going to be talking about is the Dark Bliss. What is Dark Bliss? You will see. So, check it out. If I press this button, sorry. I'll set it to manual first. So, this is the dark material theme which comes with this ROM, Dark Bliss. You may have already observed that uh, the recent appell have been also modified. It has a more rounded uh, shape in the corners. The second feature is the Dark Bliss. This is cool right now because you can set it on light condition change which is experimental but I think in my opinion it works perfectly. Let me turn on the light just to show you how it works. So I may have to orientate the sensor into that position just to capture the light but it was working what the heck it was working okay so right now it's working as you may see so I turned the light on and it automatically converted to the light theme of this uh, beautiful um, bliss interface. If I turn off the light it will say dark light sensor event and I think it should convert from any time the theme. Not that fast but you know you got the idea. So it's an interesting um, feature. 
let me get into some others because there are thousands and thousands and thousands of features like the equalizer, the default equalizer is the Viper for Android so if you press this you, it will get into Viper for Android the fixed application this is the best music application, sound, sound enhancement application you will ever get on Android, believe me and you have Bliss interface the beautiful logo here and here I, will, I don't think I'll have time to get into the into all the features but let's get uh, right uh, into it and make it as fast as possible display animations so you have uh, input keyboard animation oh okay so let me for example slide in bottom uh, slide in top for example let's see okay this type of animation but let's make it quick quicker I don't think that's okay what uh, is you may already you may have already noticed this keyboard is the Google keyboard which has been Samsungized or I don't know what the verb to be Samsungized means but you know the Samsung keyboard has this interesting um, feature here the numpad is listed on top of the keyboard this what this this is what this ROM integrated developers of this ROM integrated in the Google keyboard have the numpad on top of the, of the keyboard which is awesome uh, let's uh, disable this because we'll keep it as stuck as possible over scrolling effects you know while scrolling you can set it to bounce effect let's check it out I think it will have to you'll have to reboot your device or the system user interface don't know what but uh, it should work toast animations uh, list view animation, system animation, scrolling cache this is a feature that I, ha I haven't been uh, observing it for a long time on any kind of ROM I used to have it on my Galaxy S1 ROMs but right now it isn't it is present here but um, it's not on any other ROMs um, the cache isn't the latest problem is the latest problem you'll need to worry about while running uh, Lollipop it is blazing fast because it's using cart, art instead of Dalvik, and you know what I'm saying. Scrolling modifiers, flying velocity, this is how the scrolling behaves. Identity icons, use identity icons as default contact picture when creating new contacts. This is interesting. No one is, well, I don't know what it's doing, but a floating window let me show you the floating window okay sorry uh sorry like this oh where sorry i had to activate the app bar oh, okay right now i have the app bar activated this is the app bar this is the same as the multitasking uh, window from uh, samsung so if you slide down and let's say i'm gonna open this application into a multi, multi window and I will be multitasking with uh, sorry I had with the Google Play Store and you can set them like this snap bottom and snap top this is the default multitasking uh, which was offered by Samsung right now it is possible to have it on ASP ROMs like this which is very beautiful uh, a bug that I found is that I you can't uh, put uh, you can type anything with it because uh, I don't think the keyboard is supported. But you may find you may try another keyboard and see and report if it is working. It is not on this. Let's just active deactivate this. Okay, and we're fine. Um, let's get back into the features because there are a lot of um, Bliss interface again so we're done with floating window, heads up, you know what it's doing lock screen options a thing that I found really interesting about this ROM is that this has lock screen wallpaper changer 
there is a kind of unpleasant uh, misleading feature of Lollipop. You can change the wallpaper background but with this ROM you can. So you can select this for example and set it as a wallpaper and it will set it as a wallpaper which is a very needed feature. Apart from that everything seems to be as uh, seems to be as working as well as good as the wallpaper changer does you have an option to long click on this to, to turn off the screen really useful in my opinion navigation options you'll have to get into this if you want to configure the app circle bar the app bar you've seen before gesture anywhere um, trigger position, trigger region so what is this? Okay. draw just gesture here for example I want to add a gesture to open calculator and I'll put a C and if I slide from this part of the screen and hit C it will open calculator how great is that how great is that and I know this feature was included in many ROMs but it is working perfectly on this one so just want to test it out so if you guys wondering gestures are working perfectly slim pie this has a bug I don't know why has a bug on many ROMs trigger options from screen from right trigger sensitivity no it's not it's working perfectly it's even working from on the button so yeah recent really beautiful so it doesn't have a bug on this ROM um, power menu let me show you the power menu all these options are available in power menu how cool is that this is how it looks like um, the thing is that right, right down here there are some profiles but you can't see them because they are whitened out and yeah this may be a graphical bug but not such a big deal you'll notice them when you all have your phone in front of you because it's really hard to note to be noticed for them to be noticed behind the camera yeah so you have power off, reboot, screenshot, screen record, flashlight, even the flashlight sorry the flashlight is working perfectly okay and it's even working on lock screen which is really cool so top to turn off turn off recent options default things and it also includes omni switch and you'll have to enable them enable it so if you press you can see this omni switch don't really like it so I won't be using it clear recent location and button status bar with the default features of uh, customizing the tiles battery status indicator you can change up the indicator and you have tons and tons and as you may see here, customize the circle, the circle, circle dot length, circle dot interval. Yeah, this is sick. The temperature isn't working. I've tried it. Either is not working, or you have to, or you have to reboot your device. But uh, apart from that, let's get into performance because in performance you can customize your settings your kernel settings settings with kernel editor the best kernel application in my opinion to customize any kernel settings like this you know if you watched my previous videos i have made a review on this application on uh, any other roms let's check out how fast it dials number 415 Sorry, I haven't didn't press fast 
fast enough. Let's see the message from Ford that uh, for top four on credit info. As you may see red. Okay. Apart from that, in all the applications, you, you may see that the launcher has that uh, M texture look. That M texture look means that uh, it has been kind of remapped to the Android M1. I don't really like it, to be honest. Frankly, don't really like it. Uh, apart from that, everything is working fine. You may find some bugs from time to time, but you know, shit happens on any other ROM. The thing is that this ROM is, in my opinion, one of the most perfect ASP ROMs that have been ever that I have been ever tried on my Galaxy S4, and that is because it gives you this big, huge range of. Uh, personalization as I showed you in the settings oh by the way you can customize your DPI also by going in here and then advanced DPI settings and LCD density yeah this is how the um, tiles look like look like um, so yeah that's what I was talking about the personalization part um, Time is, running, time is running out. I hope you liked this review, guys. If you did, please thumbs up and leave a comment down below with all the questions you, you, you have for me or about ROM or about anything else or about things that you want me to review. So, if you like this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below. This is Wicked Android HD and as always, I'll keep you updated with the latest Android news and, and ROM reviews. So stay tuned guys, I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.